So welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about your build out. And so basically in your build out, um, you may get your space in multiple types of conditions. Some of you may be getting new spaces, which come typically in what's called a white box. And so that means it has white walls, concrete floors. And so basically it's just the open canvas. Some of you may get a space that has already been built out. Perhaps it's been used as a store before. Um, in one of our smoke shops, it had been used as an office space. So um, we were able to kind of like keep some of the uh, office spaces in the back. Uh, but otherwise than that, it was kind of like a, a wide open space with a bunch of desks and basically portable cubicles. So with that, we were able to just use that open space as our smoke shop without much build out. Now, one of the things you have to consider is that the build out is going to pretty much um, depend on your municipalities and the local towns and city regulations. So some of most cities um, and towns have to have building codes and be up to spec for the building codes. A lot of building codes are going to be state run. So basically they have to adopt building code from states. Um, in our case, it's the state of Georgia. So in essence, um, the state of Georgia has published um, regulations as far as the types of inspections that have to be done, the, the types of codes that have to be done. Uh, there may be an electrical code of 2018, and if your architect or your electrical engineer or whoever did your electrical um, plans did not use that set of codes, then there may be some penalties and or your permits may not be approved. So in essence, you want to be on top of what it's going to take. And there are some shortcuts that your local architects and basically contractors may be able to do to help you with the build out. Um, on a couple of our units, they did require a build out. Um, and what I mean by that is we just weren't able to go in and change some paint and add some new floors. We actually had to either demolish walls and or we had to uh, build new walls. So with that, we needed an architect who drafted our floor plans according to our vision as well as what he or she thought would be uh, a good flow. And then those architect plans have to actually be approved by the city before the permit is granted. Once that permit is granted, there are stages by which you have to have an inspector come out and approve your work. Now, this isn't just for a smoke shop. This is for multiple different commercial applications. If you were to start anything, really, you would need um, some type of intervention with the city's permit department, your city's inspection department. Um, your city's um, um, permitting, which allows either your certificate of occupancy, occupancy and or your business license. So some of the things that you consider kind of going into a build out are very high level, such as um, your flooring, um, painting the walls, coming up with color schemes, um, your exterior building sign, which we'll have a module on that a little bit later. Uh, window lettering, um, your furniture, your point of sale systems, the retail shelving and the slat walls, um, retail cabinets. Um, if you're selling cigars, are you going to have them in a built-in humidor that you build out? Or are you going to have uh, modular units that you can kind of expand? So these are some of the things that you kind of want to consider during the build out. And um, we'll go into these in a little bit more detail um, and what I do encourage you is if you have specific questions, just make sure that you put them in the chat below and or the community and we will make sure that we have some, um, some moderators to either get back with you with those specific questions um, as it pertained to how we opened up our four smoke shops. So we'll get into more detail as the topics flow. For now, we're signing off. Brandon Johnson, 404 Smoke Shop and your master class instructor.